Hello? Is there anybody in here? If anyone wants some Geckos and Grottos merchandise, the hoodie came out really great from Redbubble.com. Nice. I love this awesome. hoodie. Is that like screen printed or? Uh, it is the sublimation ink. I think. Fancy. I think that's the word. It's not iron on, which I thought right. it was gonna be, but no, this is like the real deal. I know. <laughs> nice. Super words. high quality. I bought a, a duffel bag too, in that quality. I'm like, like, like now I get why I'm paying forty dollars for this. This is a really expensive <laughs> bag. <laughs> Worth it. Do you do you have that handy? The bag. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Let's show that off. I feel like oh, we're on. Yeah, you're thanks, welcome. Dan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're on like QVC now. Oh, 100%. You're up next. Hope you brought something for show and tell. It's probably a cat. Yeah, they're all out of this room. I don't have time for mm. cats right now. That's not true. There's always time for cats. Mm. You say that. <laughs> They always make time for themselves. Oh, wow. I can just type in geckos and grottos on Redbubble and it pulls right up. There you go. Weird. Well, that's cool. Nice big ginormous duffel bag. <laughs> you hold it up and then everything just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm embarrassed to take the, my back screen off because I bought one of those giant green screen things that's on the back of your chair. So look completely <laughs> ridiculous without a background, but this bag is awesome. I mean, I just look ridiculous twenty four seven. So and then I uh, same. I made a bunch of these too. Ooh. Oh, they really can't see that. Yeah, it, it's better when you hold it down like that. That's perfect. So these That's are awesome. little little grab bags that I'm that I'm making a hundred of for our convention at the South Jersey Geek Fest convention that Geckos Media is going to be at. So we're we're stuffing it full of promotional material for all of the podcasts on the network. And I'm gonna hand them out to everybody who walks in the door. That way, everybody's carrying around a little bit of Gecko's Media with them all day. That's awesome. And uh, when is that convention? It is <laughs> April sixteenth. It's gonna oh, be Tuesday. at the Gateway Regional High School in South Jersey. Then you say it's a Tuesday? Yeah, so, I'm just, Saturday. I'm just, I'm just oh, guessing. God, I hope it's not Tuesday. Jeez, <laughs> I'll be the only one there. It's no, such it's, a it's, weird it's going to be a Saturday. It's like 16th. April 16th, and I'm like, oh, Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, it's prime, it's a prime time, you know, it's a prime time convention day. <laughs> Tuesday yeah, I mean, at noon. <laughs> it's tax day, so that's pretty close, right? Hmm? It's my yeah. brother's birthday. That's something. There you go. You still got yeah. that scar on his head. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> All right. So All right, I, just, I just blasted you out on the uh, on the Gecko's Lounge Discord channel. Oh, you blasted me out, eh? <laughs> Getting started. That's what they're calling it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, to get back to the actual reason why we're here, um, we're going to play some D&D here in a minute. But uh, in case you couldn't tell from all of the Geckos and Grottos and Geckos Media talk, uh, we are now officially a part of Gecko's Media, which, you know, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know all the, the, the fancy like terminology and whatever, but yeah, we're, we're uh, affiliated with them in an official capacity now. It's really cool. I'm really excited. Yeah. You're going to pair very well with the Gecko's and Grotto's crew for sure. Because we definitely have not collaborated at all never we had to make it official in order to collaborate and uh this is it this is a union this is a wedding episode this is a special wedding episode dan i guess you're invited he is the official (laughs) hey i am i am one of those i can do that are you yeah uh, a couple of my coworkers asked me to do their wedding and so I did the whole thing where you go on the Universal Life Church and you get officiated. It's uh, yeah. it's really fucking weird to get emails that are like Pastor <laughs> Daniel or uh, <laughs> Father Tuttle, and I'm like, bro, what? Oh well, now I've done the thing, you know. And I'm like, cool, whatever, bro. That's my father. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Daddy, you know. <laughs> Daddy no. Tuttle. Uh, no, please don't, don't subscribe to that church. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because. Uh, Dan, I'm sure you know, but Tim, you might not know. Uh, Zach, you know, Sergios, he is also ordained and he uh, performed 
John, who plays Nicholas, and uh, his wife, Jazz's wedding. That is so cute. Yeah. I, I was their, their witness slash best man for both of them. That is so, so cute. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I asked you, Tim, and now I, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, so Gecko's Media is pretty cool. You should definitely check them out if you are interested in making podcasts. Uh, Tim, if you have more information. That's it, Tim. Gecko's Media, we make podcasts. <laughs> Uh, no, we are a collection of, of different startup podcasts with that are all starting off together. It's an awesome community of, of new podcasters coming together and helping each other out. And they are all joined together at geckosmedia.com where you can get the complete collection of all the podcasts on the network. And soon you're going to see Hammer of the Gods on there too. It's pretty exciting. For sure. I really love, uh, just a, a quick, before we move on, uh, I really love how diverse the different podcasts are like initially you mean it's all women and then us (laughs) very diverse (laughs) yeah but i mean it's just cool like thematically you know you've got geckos and grottos which is like dnd ish and then you know you've got several that are more mental health focused sure um and then really just it just keeps expanding and there's always something new yeah we're we're onboarding uh so internally uh there's a, a couple that are doing what's called conspiracy theory happy hour, which is going to be a new one on the network. That's going to be they select their favorite conspiracy theories and they talk about a topic in depth or two topics in depth each, each episode. I'm working on one called Title Talk. It goes media presents Title Talk, which is going to be me oh, yeah. interviewing different podcasters and just giving general tips and tricks into the industry uh, for new fledgling podcasters interested in getting started. You can see the see and hear the story of some of the other podcasts either on the network and off. And, and hear their story into different things that they do well, just to help promote and grow yourself. And we are in the midst of onboarding another one for that's a, a, it's a baseball player, a ball player, a former ball player. And he tells a story not on the field, but what life is like being a ball player off the field, how it is dealing oh, cool. with agents, how it affects your relationships, how the travel puts a strain on your life. And that's a really, really cool one. And then the last one I'm working on is is the book it's about a comparison of movies and books of books that became movies and whether or not the book was better or the movie was better and starting that controversial topic so, so are you really are you excited. hosting that one or are you no just- no it's another it's another person that was referred to on the network that nice. one sounds awesome. like a really good time i think i would like right? that one a lot oh uh, yeah and then the girl who's doing it we, we did a console for her and and she's going a lot of great opportunities in the, in the book world because she can do the good reads right so, so it's a she's going to start a book club uh where nice. they talk about the books that they, that they talk about on the show and they can join private or group um uh quick book oh got quick books oh, no uh, good reads <laughs> no we are not talking about quick books on this podcast a little, a little plug <laughs> we are sponsored by quick books now uh that's what dan's done all day absolutely <laughs> not no quick books <laughs> Uh, but but yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, get get to know them more. And there's another po- an existing podcast that we're trying to onboard too, uh, just to take advantage of the network and the hosting with with our guys. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say yet until they're until they're official, but but they're gonna come on. They're more like um, I don't know if you know who Preston and Steve is, or more of a local Eastern Coast thing, but they're just mm, I'm rowdy sure. party guys, and they just talk about the most ridiculous of stuff. That's awesome. So, anytime I hear the word the name Preston, I am, and this is probably just because Sarah and I just watched the new Jackass the other day. But all <laughs> I picture is Preston from Jackass, and uh, it doesn't matter. Like even my cousin has like a son named Preston. I hear Preston, I think of like big boy Preston. Like it doesn't matter who it is. So you're like, you may have heard of Preston, and I was like, yeah, I know, I've seen Preston. <laughs> There's only one Preston in all the world. Dan's like, I know him. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, he guy. seems like a pretty cool guy. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, anyway, that's sorry. Fantastic. How dare you? How dare you say anything? Uh, and actually, Dan, uh, where are we at on uh, your project, your unannounced, unofficial project? Well, I have the logo. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been watching uh, movies. <laughs> Which is something you did not do prior to coming up. No, I've, I've, I'd never <laughs> seen a movie before I was like, I'm going to make a podcast about movie reviews. You know, uh, speaking I've never, of, I've never seen, seen things. One. I've never seen any of the Jackass movies. 
Never. Just a bunch of jackasses, honestly. Mm. Yeah. So I've heard. <laughs> Dan's like, I'm out. I quit. I'm off this podcast. <laughs> well, they're a lot of fun. They're, I mean, the, it's obviously not going to be anything that wins any kind of awards, but Sarah and I watched it the other night and it was exactly what I hoped for. So I mean, maybe like Darwin Awards. But anyway, uh, that project is uh, something that I'd like to get started soon. I just haven't had haven't had time, man. You know, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's hard to sit down and watch like a two hour long movie and then sit down and know. talk about it. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I get it. Yeah, no, I have my first episode, my first movie picked up for the first episode for whenever I finally do it. So nice. uh, uh, I can't wait to do that. And once I do that, once we have it going up and running, um. I would be more than happy to officially plug it. But as of right now, I don't want to say anything. And then people try and like subscribe to me and then find out that, hey, guess what? I never actually posted anything. So... <laughs> I get keep, it. I get just, it. Just keep hyping it up. Just keep hyping it up. But like nothing ever happens. Just like, you know, so many hey, other it's, things. It's funny you say that, but I've been hyping up my, my dandy podcast and we haven't released an episode in three months. And we finally <laughs> recorded our first episode. And I just got really, really hyper focused on social media. And just making Canva promotions, and somehow <laughs> my podcast has just like blown up. And <laughs> like the past three, in the past uh, sixty days, not not even the past thirty days, it's gone up like three thousand percent just by posting ridiculous things saying "coming soon, coming soon, season three. You gotta watch the rest to get up to." <laughs> somehow it's working, and people are going crazy. I have like my, my right. DM inbox is going nuts, and I have no idea why. I think it's because I'm dangling this thing that doesn't exist yet in front of them, and they all just want to be a part of it. I so, get it. Secrets. What is- what is hype may never die. I mean, I I definitely goofed whenever I started the podcast because I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna record like four or five episodes, get them like fully edited and whatever. And then like I had already made the social media and just started posting some like random stuff periodically, trying to kind of hype it up before I started posting anything. And then I got way too excited about like a lot of engagement initially and i was like oh cool i guess i'll just go ahead and start posting and now i am behind and i have been since day one <laughs> yeah you'll never uh you're, 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 you never catch up and yeah. we were doing geckos weekly and that was taking a complete drain on me yeah. and then i'm like man i can't i can't edit anymore and then i'm like let me start an editing company <laughs> so, <laughs> so. What I it am, did, if it, out of all the credit that, that I give myself, I'm just a little pat on my back, is I, I took on the onus of starting to learn how to edit other podcasts. And now, <laughs> like, now that's professional, I had to learn it really well. Now right. I'm super fast at it. So nice. now, hell, it used to take me like hours to edit. Now I can get through a professional edit in, in half the time. Well, and I think a lot of that is definitely uh, due to that new software you were telling me about. That's Which brand new. Amazing. Dis- yeah, Descript. Uh, it certainly sets the foundation and makes the Audacity editing a whole lot easier. It takes out a lot of the fillers for me, which is usually the worst, most painstaking thing. Yeah. Uh, and-, and I mean, Descript, if you want to sponsor like Hammer of the Gods or Geckos or Geckos yeah, Media, come on, let's go. Please, we, we are happy to take your money and you know, shout you out all day. <laughs> well, not even that. If you could just give me a free subscription, <laughs> I'll yeah, take that. Yeah. Actually, that's true. <laughs> just just give it to me for free and we're good. I, I will sing the praises. <laughs> well, yeah, that just cut down that time even more. And when I do Audacity, yeah. I did this little trick where I have all my hotkeys on my on my mouse that has the one through nine number pad on it. So nice. everything I do in Audacity, all the shortcuts that I use. Dan just dipped out. He's like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're all on one hand. So I use I do one-handed editing on a mouse and it just blow through everything super quick. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> she can't hear us, but I'm still gonna say hi. You're muted, Dan. I didn't even turn my it just fucking went off. Like I'm just sitting, <laughs> like the audacity of this fucking camera. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we ready to get started on some D and D? Yeah, not really. Over the premise of uh, what we're doing, I have no idea. I have no idea what we're what we're about to get into. Well, it's D and D. It's a game where you create a character, uh, and then you we're actually about to create that character. You you base it off of like (laughs) certain fantasy races, like dwarves or elves, you know, and then uh, you create a class or Rorschachs. You 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 roll some dice and. yeah, Sometimes you I, when I stuff. saw Dungeon Daddy Rick there, I think I had the wrong impression of this. <laughs> yeah, he definitely thought this was the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, BDSM much podcast. like much like Dungeons and Daddies, we are not a BDSM podcast usually. Sometimes. 
<laughs> All right. Well, anyway. On so, that note. <laughs> in case uh, you haven't caught up on the bad boys of New Alexandria, last time. Oh, now that Dan's getting all cute. Right, are you ready? Cool. So, last time on Bad Boys of New Alexandria, Bion decided he was going to go solo and continue the investigation looking for Demos, Demetrios's uh, lost little brother. And uh, exploring this carnival further, he found himself chasing down Stravantes and uh, Kiros, who he thought Kiros was going to be his new best friend after giving him some baklava, uh, the uh, stoner uh, wagon driver seemed like they were going to get along just fine until uh, at the end, Stravanti's tricked Bayon into taking the uh, gin and tonic, which is a uh, creation from a, a homebrew creator, uh, who I will absolutely 100% butcher their name because I don't know how to actually say it. It'll be in the description later. Um, yeah, so he tricked Bayon into taking the bottle with the trapped gin inside and then had Kiros shove him off of the moving cart. So we will pick back up as Bayon tumbles in the mud and you find yourself just sitting by the roadside. Should I tumble in real life? Because I don't think my wife would appreciate that, but there is plenty of mud outside. There's a window. I can direct the camera and you would be able to see me do a tumble. And you could have June and Jack Jack with you. you know. Oh, they're out there. I'm, well, I can't see them <laughs> right now, but they're out there. All right. Well, uh, did I, I can't remember. Did I? I did rub, rub the pot. Well, the, you, right. You, so okay. So one, it's a bottle. Um, <clears throat> well, two, yeah, but, you know. Two Stravantes. After getting you to take it, he's like, "Here, let me show you," and then That's grabbed right. your hand and like rubbed it on the bottle, and so. As you were about to get shoved off the cart, this gin um, kind of bitched out Stravantes for betraying him, more or less, and like giving away the bottle. And uh, where we ended was the gin asking you what you wish for. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember this now. Sorry, I'm trying to get caught up in my brain. Uh, <laughs> so, which is really hard to do because uh, my brain runs on like Linux. So, uh, DOS, yeah, DOS, <laughs> make brain function enter. Right. Um, so, Bion, if you want to think about, uh, yeah, I'll think how about you want to respond. I, I mean, I know what I want to wish for, but you know, <laughs> I know what I'm gonna wish for. Purple armed lady, no, <laughs> you got me wondering, uh, but yeah, I, I was yeah, gonna go, give yeah. you a minute, yeah, that's and fine. We'll, uh, We'll uh, see what Nikitas has been up to. So Nikitas. Get it, Nikitas. Last we saw you, you were leaving with the Whisperer and your former partner, Demetrios. And so basically the whole time that Bion's been doing this investigation, you have been getting grilled by a team of these Whisperers about just kind of, you know, why you were there with Demetrios, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is, in, IA. this is at the circus, right? Uh, you guys have let, you've gone back down to the station. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, because they were taking Demetrios to lock up, and they were just taking you along with just for, you know, questioning the standard kind of follow-up type stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm still dressed, or I'm, I'm still taking the image of, of Demetrios' partners. So I haven't broken character yet. And I guess I go in quietly and I, and I go through the questioning and I try to keep an, alle an allegiance to Demetrios. However, it becomes difficult because I have an obligation to uphold the law and, and uphold the moral justice and, and the truth. Uh, so I, I do all my answers in half truths without <laughs> lying. But at the same time, like I understand the position that Demetrios was in when the attack happened. Right. Yeah, and that's that's more or less like I think they understand that you were doing the best you can. I think I tried to play the angle like he like he he was under an influence, right? He was he was outside of his 
like there, there he has a condition so i'm trying to get him put into a mental uh ward instead of necessarily <laughs> prison <laughs> i feel like a mental ward would be easier to get in the breakout <laughs> Shh, spoilers <laughs> oh whoops <laughs> <laughs> because we haven't spoiled anything like 500 times uh yeah in, in case we didn't mention this i think we did but this is actually a prequel to a whole bunch of sessions we've already played um and then some random other stuff that Tim and Zach and <coughs> excuse me and uh, Derek and I are getting ready to do before too long. Eventually, one day, um, yeah. So we may we may accidentally spoil that a few more times. I think that as I'm being questioned, uh, what what Nikitas would do would be cast friends frequently on the people who are questioning him and <laughs> in, in an attempt to deter the conversation less about what happened and more about himself. Fair, fair. To try to, to try to like, without, without, without not telling a lie, just not talk about it at all. Right. <laughs> by, by befriending them and be like, Hey, let's talk about how great that circus was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been there. They're like, yeah, I, I don't think we have anything else here. I don't think we have any more questions for you, sir. Good, good. Yeah, I I, have, I, I don't have any questions either. It's, it's okay. They're like, yeah, we, we actually didn't get to watch any of the circus, so I think we're going to try well, and Well, hold it. on. Let me fix this for you. And then I do a cast minor illusion, and I do <laughs> and I do like reenactments of, of what we saw. And really, then, uh, it's just Frogatas. Yeah, I was, was going to say, I'm still wearing the belt. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm on this. <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, the prowess of my martial abilities <laughs> with my negative one strength. Froggy wrestling was pretty sweet. I thought so. Pretty proud of that. Uh, yeah, thank you for that inspiration, Dan. So, uh, as, as they let you go, they say, I, I'm pretty sure that your partner may still be at the carnival. They're probably packing up, but you might be able to catch him. When you say partner, are you referring to Demetrius? Uh, no, the the beardy guy. Are, are, are we talking about Bion? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the the booty guy. I only look at one thing when I look at my buddy Bion, and it's not his beard. It's his it's his butt beard. <laughs> Those That's red locks. Now. Listen, That's man. Canon. It's it's like it's like it's like a shag carpet, bro. <laughs> Yum. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cleaning peanut uh, and, butter out of Chewbacca's hair, I'm telling you. Uh, so they said that Bayon is, is currently still at the scene? Uh, I mean, the last they knew. That was a couple hours ago. Okay, I, I think at this point, now that I'm done the questioning and Demetrius is in, you know, in custody, uh, I think it's in, I think Nenegatas' immediate next steps would be to collaborate and get in touch with his partner, Bayon, to come up with a strategy for defense for, for Demetrius because he doesn't believe that his, his friend is entirely at fault here. And he needs to seek the truth for it. So, um, well, if we're if we're done here, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go go to the bar down the street if that's okay. And I like leave, and I go back to I guess the circus or, or where the attack happened. Last I saw Bion. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean the attack, like Demetrios, I assume is what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was basically just outside, like the back flap of the the circus tent. And would that be the last time I saw Bion as well? Like around, yeah, that, yeah. around that area yeah so i go back to do like some some low-key investigations to see if i can find any additional uh clues as to what might have happened i know the circumstances around what happened was was still kind of new we don't know where the brother is right the brother's still still missing yeah and, and i just want to see because we we know the circus has something to do with it uh so we i, I go there to look for buy as well as look for additional clues at the crime scene okay so, uh, Nikitas, you are making your way back to where you last saw your partner, and uh, we'll rejoin Bion, sitting in the mud. Nikitas is his making his way downtown. Making my way downtown. <laughs> through the mud. Uh, yeah. Man, they are having a ball out there. Yeah, they're in their bedroom now. Sarah let them in, and our neighbor's <laughs> taking his trash out, and their window to their bedroom is right next door to his house i guess or that whatever. Son of a bitch. How so they're you? like hey hey you don't take your trash out you fucking hear me i don't care if tomorrow is trash day you son of a bitch that's what they're doing so as one does yeah yeah exactly because like, they're you know they think they run the block but at the end of the day they're just big babies uh <laughs> uh yeah so i'm gonna hmm, 
So do I know, like, I'm, I'm assuming I understand that this is a genie, right? Like I have some kind of inclination or that I know what I'm dealing with here. Um, or not well, a genie, but a whatever you want to call a it. A gin. I mean, gin and genie kind of go hand in hand. Sure. You want me to roll for um, it? Yeah, roll a history check. Oh, baby, I'll roll history checks all day long. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I'll get it. <laughs> Isn't that one? Yeah. <laughs> You know, in my head, I was like, how funny would that be if we started tonight with just a nat one immediately? Welcome to Ham Pod. Welcome to Ham Pod, where I consistently fuck myself over. Or you get nat 20s on dumb shit. Yeah, but this is definitely a one. I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you have no idea. You're just like, this is a, a really smoky looking dude. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, no legs. He's just kind of so, hovering there. So let me, let me ask you this, uh, Mr. Smoky Man. Uh, I, uh, I can Mr. Get, Smoky Man's my dad. I can buy pretty much anything I want anyway because I'm rich. So anything that I wish for, I can usually get myself. Uh, t- what What do you mean by what you know? What do I? What's my first wish? Like what? What do you mean? I don't understand. Well, there there is no first wish to it. You get one. One. And okay. he says and he says I I didn't think this was going to be this difficult, but uh, yeah. Hurry up. Well, listen, this ass is made for clapping, not thinking. Okay. <laughs> so uh, can I wish for more wishes? Is that, do you, what, how, how does, do you have a contract I can see? And he's just like, you can, you can fuck right off with that shit. Okay. Okay. Yes. This is exactly the direction I wanted to go. Mr. Smoky man. <laughs> uh, yes. Again, Mr. So- Smoky man is my father. <laughs> uh I know what I want to wish for, but I, I know you're going to tell me no. So I don't want to waste Is my more time. more wishes? Let's don't try know it. that. I oh, wish... he already got told to fuck off for more. <laughs> yeah. Unlimited <laughs> power. Yeah. I, I want to be level 20. Wish I wish to be level 20. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't want to be level 20. That's a joke. That was a joke. That was made meta. Uh, I wish that I had Demos. Ah, see? See? You weren't, you didn't, ah, ah. So he says, is that really, that? that's what you wish for? Yes, the demos that we were looking for at the carnival, the specific demos. Do you have a sketch? You take out a sketch I, ma- a sketch I made of them. But I don't have your sketchbook. Everyone right, has those. right around this time, as you're like, shit, I don't have Nikitas' sketchbook. Nikitas, you see <laughs> the greatest booty in the world covered in mud. Oh, I know that booty. Just sitting, sitting on the ground, talking to, uh, roll history. Yeah. That would be a 10. Oh, I thought just reading your lips. I thought you said Nat one. I was like, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> no, but what I realized is in <laughs> zoom with the temporary mute thing, you have to, your cursor has to be in the thing. So as I go to d and beyond, I have to make sure I click back and zoom. You know, it's funny because uh, last week we were talking about that and I've decided that that's just pulling a Derek because yeah. he did that so much on that first stream. It's just what I'm calling it now. Doing a Derek. <laughs> uh, I Do I recognize that this is a, a, a gin or is he just talking to a smoky thing? Uh, yeah, you, you probably don't know a lot about gin, but you know that they exist. You know that they typically come from like a lamp or a bottle of some kind. Uh, that they typically grant wishes, but that's about as much as you know. I know that booty anywhere. Hey, Bayon, it's your best friend, Normalitas. <laughs> Hello, Normalitas. And I had to think for a second to remember what my last face was that Bayon saw. So like, I, I, like, uh, I turn away and then my face shifts a few times until I settle on what I think he remembers I look like. It's very subtle. <laughs> and, and then I look back and I say, yes, I'm, I'm Normalitas. Who's your who's your friend here, uh, Bion? Uh, yeah. So I don't know, but he's telling me that we get one wish, or that I get one wish, not we. Did you already? Did you already ask to be level twenty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he told me to fuck right off with that. So. Yeah, I read that in a no, book. No, no, that was for more wishes. Oh, right, 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 right. No, yeah. Man, well, you can't ask for more wishes. They always say fuck off, but the level twenty thing they think about literally every time, every single no, I wonder. Gen. 
always fuck off if you ask for more wishes. What happens if you ask for one more wish? I mean, wouldn't that just be a wish for one more wish and then it would still just be one wish? Yeah, but then he set the precedent for allowing more wishes. <laughs> ah, in a court of law, that would stand up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We know the law. <laughs> and he, he is just like face palming so hard right now. M- Mr. Smokey Man, could you turn away and maybe like earmuffs for a moment so I can talk to my friend Normalitas? He's like, I can fuck right off and go back in this bottle if you guys are going to take a while. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go back and hang out in here. And he just okay. like, smokes okay. back into the bottle. Normalitas, here's my plan. Okay, I'm going to make a wish. I'm going to wish that we have Demos here. The Living. Demos. Living. Yes. Living you did the- technically the- already do that. <laughs> but he doesn't know that yet. This is my wish. That's the wish I'm going to make. <laughs> Genie was there. <laughs> no, Nick Toss doesn't, or Normal uh-huh. Toss doesn't know. Okay. So, I don't know what, that, 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 he, that that's a Genie? No, that or I made Genie? the wish already on accident. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to make the wish for Demos, the Demos, the one we're looking for, right? And yes, then we'll get Demos. We'll get Demos. Yeah, we'll use your sketchbook. And then we'll get Demos because you'll have to grant it. And then I'll give you the bottle and you can make a wish. Okay. I like this. Perfect. And then Demos can rub the lamp and then also get a wish. Yes. And then his and- wish will be to allow Bion to get another fresh set of wish. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. This is definitely gonna work. All right, I'm gonna, right I'm ready, I'm ready to rub the lamp and get the smoky boy back out here. Oh no! As soon as you guys stop talking, he just comes right back out and he's like, "All right, perfect." He's yes, listening. I, I would like to finalize my wish. I yeah, would like. I, I already, I already granted it. Oh, he's like, check your pocket. Uh, what? <laughs> No, 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 no. Demos, I'm pretty sure, could not fit in my pocket. <laughs> I He's look like, questionably at his pocket. Check your pocket. Okay. I check my pocket. And you see that there is a scroll in there. What do you do with it? Well, I know for sure <laughs> that Demos was not a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've never seen Demos, so. It's uh, true. It's, damn it, that's true. I you, guess you I do not know that Demetrios was not related to a scroll. I open said Demos scroll. Okay, so you open it, and there is at first, hold on, dog's eating her foot right next to me. Um, at first, it seems like it's just a, a sketch of a young boy, uh, just kind of like looking down away from like the artist you would imagine um but you realize this is like some harry potter shit and uh it's enchanted in some way and it starts to move okay i'm gonna look at my sketch is it close in comparison to my sketch do we do we know if this is the demos demos Um, if you will i mean nikitas you've probably seen demos before yeah i'd imagine yeah, at least once or twice. So I take out my sketchbook and I compare it to his moving animation sketch. And your stick figure looks very entirely different, but you recognize this as Demos. <laughs> the, 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 the subtle details, yes, yes. Yeah. Here's <laughs> is the artistic interpretation. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, that Perfect. sounds that sounds legitimate. Um, I'm pretty sure that Demos is not a scroll. <laughs> I too am pretty sure that he was not a scroll. I feel like Demetrios definitely would have specified. Now, what we're looking for is a scroll and not a small child. But Demetrios also likes to work in metaphors and mystery. How metaphorical can he be? He turns into a giant bull man. That's pretty metaphorical. It's metaphorical for sure. And, and literal. I think it's more like metaphysical. But anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> uh it's probably more of a simile really (laughs) uh so do you think this is demos uh it's a sketch of demos okay now i'm gonna look back at smoky boy because i specified the real demos you didn't will the real demos please stand up okay wait and you see that the sketch is standing up all right normal listen here's the i'm gonna give normal the toss the jar now and i'm gonna show him how to do it you just rub it yeah so like as as you look back for the gin he's completely gone 
clearly just already decided he's going to go back to his uh his bottle yes. and so you you kind of demonstrate like motion next to it how to do this before i do that it, when i look at the sketch of can i do in like an uh, like an investigation or a further look at the at yeah. the animated sketch is, is it trying to communicate in any way uh can you roll a is this scroll trying to communicate with me check uh, 12 for investigation cool um it doesn't seem like it's trying to communicate with you it just seems like maybe this is either a recording more or less like something that's already happened or possibly um something that could happen something along those lines okay um i guess i look i guess i look over at the bottle like a buy on and he's gesturing for how to stroke the bottle i guess i'm like Okay, okay. And I, and I go over and stroke the bottle. Okay. And uh, the gin reappears and says, I knew it. Okay, what's up? Hello, sir. My name is Normalitas, and you are, as I hear, Smoky Boy. Uh, well, I, I am technically the son of Smoky Man, Mr. Smoky Man, actually. Um, but yeah. You're Smoky Boy. No. We could, we could call him Smoky Robinson. <laughs> or well, Smokey and the Bandit. Well, Mr. Not Smokey Boy. Uh Smokey Robinatos. <laughs> uh, I know limited about gins, but what I do know is I get a wish. Yeah, absolutely. So I Nick wish what you want. He he level. ignores he ignores the fact that you guys have been calling you Normalitas this whole time. He knows your name. He's just like Nikitas, what the fuck do you want? Oh, who's this Nikitas? I mean, I am Normalitas. <laughs> And I look over at Bionic. I do a deception check. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 24. This gin is broken. He knows nothing. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, I wouldn't put any stock in him. I wish that. No, no. Because <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking it literally. I was going to say, uh, I changed my name. To, 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 <laughs> uh, I wish to be level 20. He says, your wish is granted. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and you find yourself floating up in the air. Roll, a, roll an investigation check. Sorry, Bion. I totally, I totally uh, botched that one. <laughs> we, could have finished, we could have finished the quest, but instead you hibachied it. <laughs> How poorly botched is this? Uh, nine. It's a nine botch. I mean, it could be worse. Even with a nine, you know you are probably roughly 20 feet in the air. Just floating there. Ah, uh, levels of measurement is a foot. <laughs> yes, yes. This Just may like, kill me. <laughs> this is subtle, I, I, soon, I, I gather the, the, uh, the consequences of my actions here. I mean, Nikitas is a little bit frail, but I don't know that 20 feet will kill him. This is exactly what a genie would do. (laughs) I got nothing to stop this. I'm just going to take the fall, I guess. Can I catch him? You're you're still currently just floating there. Oh, being level level 20 is is all powerful. (laughs) (laughs) I see a mage school. You're you're ranked uh, in numbers with 20 being the highest level wizard. And I'm only a, I'm only a level three now, wizard, and uh, always aspired to be level twenty. Normal at all. <laughs> Can you see Demos from up there? I see a sketch of him. <laughs> Perfect. I can see that from down here. Great. <laughs> all the all of our bases are covered. Yeah, absolutely. Can, uh, can Nikitas, you... just sorry, Dan. Go ahead. I was gonna say, can you see where the caravan went? Uh, he cannot. By the time he got there, they were already well fucked off. Do I see tracks oh, or trail a trail of that? It's a, a pretty well traveled trail. So you really couldn't make out their specific tracks. Um, but you definitely know, and I'm I'm sure Bion probably has related by this point, um, more or less what happened after you left with uh, Demetrius. So you know that the carnival is already packed up and left. Right. I uh, just float here. 
Say, what now, Jen? I mean, I'm putting two and two together. What's about to happen here? Oh, he's already back in his spot. I'm still floating? Yeah. So I, can I, I rub the bottle too again? Go for it. Wait, I, I'll, let, let, Norma, I'll let Norma Latos work on trying to get out, and then I'll rub my glass long neck bottle. Oh, and I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying what's going on here. Just going to let it go. I'm going to rub my bottle furiously until smoke comes out. <laughs> Uh, so you are just like, let me, let me see your, your rub. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I start out a little slow. I, I would really show off, but I don't, I don't have the proper equipment available. Fair, fair. The Sonic cup will have to do. Yes. That will be on the only fans. <laughs> Please don't subscribe. <laughs> Only subscribe if you're into bottle rubbing. If that's your specific kink, that that's where you find it, right there. Um, Rub that bottle. So uh, as you are rubbing on this bottle, it has no effect. Can I break it? <laughs> uh, you can try. No, I don't want to do that. That was that was <laughs> a bad joke. I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck it in my bag, I guess, for now. Well, okay. last time I made a bad joke, I wasted a wish and I'm floating twenty feet in the air. <laughs> can you can you like I'm, I'm gonna be yelling up at normal latos right first of all wait what are you wearing pants or are you wearing like a toga type thing uh, no, i mean I'm wearing, I'm wearing pants he, he is literally right behind himself right but i can't i can't tell because his shoulders in the way oh. so it's like aha yeah, yes can, pants can get out of the way of <laughs> because if it was me floating up there i wear like a skirt thing so it's a chitin a chitin yes thank you yeah. uh i'm glad you're wearing pants <laughs> or maybe it's unfortunate of course, who, who wouldn't pants. wear pants I don't know. Anyway, you know, to you... be fair, as a as a changeling, he could have any kind of genitalia he wants. He could be That's a Kendall true. for all you know. Oh, that would be <laughs> anyway. definitely Kendalling it right now. <laughs> can can I'm mean, I'm like yelling up at him. Can right. you move? Like, can you walk or are you stuck? Of course, I cast Mage Hand to help pull me along. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I was gonna tie a rope around your waist. No, it like cups my butt and like pushes me. So you do That's that, cute. and it, it has no effect because Mage Hand can't move more than five pounds. But ah. I'm floating. I'm I'm grav I'm gravityless or you still you still have the same mass. Okay, <laughs> so back to the rope plan. <laughs> still looking. <laughs> I got nothing for this. Uh, I, I guess I'll go with you and try to catch your rope. All oh, right. You, so, you, don't, uh, you, you don't have a rope, do you? I have a rope. No, but I have clothes. I can take them off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Uh, <laughs> I can make a can rope from my clothes. and make a rope from his own clothes. I would like to try and throw a rope up to normal Atos so that he can tie it around his waist. Yeah. But I also don't want to roll for it. I want to just take a ten. <laughs> Okay, I, I will allow that. You're not in combat, <laughs> so but you take a 10 on this, like a punk, and uh, it, it takes a few attempts. Listen, I'm assuming you would have made me do dex, and I ain't about that life today. Yeah, it, it would have been a ranged attack, basically. Um, so it takes you a few attempts, but eventually you manage to get just like one end of it just barely up there to where he can reach it. And uh, Nikitas, you now have one end of a rope. I'm going to tie it around me and let him pull me around like a kite. <laughs> I was picturing more like a balloon animal, but, you know. Ah, I like that, that too. too. Yes, that I mean, too. Yeah. post-circus and all. Uh, can I, can yes. I change myself to look like a big balloon? I mean, more or less, you know. It's still it human shape. Your, your actual size, but yeah. yeah I mean, I mean I'm, I'm human shaped back. still, but I'm more like blown, like poofy, like a float. Yeah. Or okay. minor illusion that anyway. What a, what color do you this make? Is wonderful. Yourself? What color of balloon animal are you? Uh the the the, the nasty gray, like paper mache. <laughs> so the color of like your hat in the background? Uh the color of my face in the background. That is pretty nasty. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. That's As exactly ugly and nasty I, of a balloon, I can make it. That is exactly <laughs> what I picture when I picture party balloons. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Just like bland gray you know 
Uh, it's like that Fairly Odd Parents where everything's the same. Yep, I've never seen it. You've never seen Fairly Odd Parents? I mean, I've seen some okay. of it, but never that specific. Oh, okay. You know, I and like, I get some of the jokes yeah. like, this is where I put my blah, blah, blah. If I had one, you know, but like. <laughs> or my shiny know. teeth in me, you know. Fun fact, uh, my for my 20, uh, for one of my birthdays past, my friends threw a surprise 30th party. It was my 30th. Surprise party for me <laughs> in Philadelphia, and for your mystery the, age. Now it was, a, it, was a, it was at a place that had uh, artists play music. This is a, kind of like a it was really, really cool, kind, kind of like a dueling pianos, but a whole. Band. I was going to say, yeah. They play random things, and they put a put a request in to play "My Shiny Teeth and Me" from <laughs> Fairly Odd Parents uh, for my birthday. Like this one goes out to the birthday boy Tim and his much his Chip Skylark. That's fantastic. That sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> What were you saying, Dan? I was going to make a joke about, he, he said, he, I was going to a place where they have artists that play music, and I was going to make a joke about that concert, you know. But, no, definitely not a concert. You know. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. All right. So, uh, so Bion, you now have a roughly Nikitas shaped balloon animal that is the most bland, unexciting gray you've ever seen. Okay, well, I'm going to ask Nikitas, uh, Normalitas, Balloonitas, uh, which way he thinks we should go. Should we go towards where the caravan went? And I'm going to gesture to the direction I last saw them going. Or do you want to go back to the town and gesture back towards the town where we came from? Hmm. Because I'm towing you. So wherever we're going. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best place. So there's nothing going to be, there's not going to be anything for us at the police station or at the towards town unless we choose to and to try to interrogate demetrius and see if he has any insight into that caravan or has any other affiliation than what he's already told us or, or i mean you guys did get sent there to investigate like they they already knew that there was some shady stuff going on with this circus so you might be able to pick up some leads on like where they could be going or anything like that. That's true. I say we go back in town and grab a flyer and look at their tour, <laughs> see where they're touring <laughs> next. Now that is clever. But I say that in Balloonitas form. Let's go back to town and look for the tour dates. I don't know. I picture it being more like if somebody had inhaled helium. Oh, no. Oh, I was thinking like whenever you rub. No, definitely not helium. And it makes that squeaky sound. Now, what's the other gas? The gas that makes it super, super low. I don't even know what the name is, but I know what you're talking about. No idea. We'll call it uh, super heavy gasanium, it's like or argon deep or something. Unobtainium. No, it, it's deep beam. Deep beam, yes. Sure, yes. Yeah. Deep voice yes, That yep. makes perfect <laughs> sense. All right, so I, I think that uh, heading back to town is fine. I'm totally down with that. So I guess I will start trudging along to town with my new pal who's not really new but currently in a new state uh balloonitas as we travel back to uh uh mida it's not mida it's uh <laughs> mida is where you were before we're, tra- we're traveling back to new york okay that's where <laughs> we're going we're going to new york we're going to get us a slice in new york okay yeah so uh you guys head back to Athenian, the capital that's, of alexandria that's the one what was it Affinian, uh huh, definitely had that written down. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was very, very briefly mentioned. Oh, Bion's gone again. Apparently, if I tap the space bar, it shuts my camera off. That's bizarre. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody gets easily uh, like distracted. Epilepsy. Yeah, or distracted. I say as I'm getting easily distracted by Dan. I am easily, and disappearing. easily distracted. I am I am very sorry. Uh, yeah, so I'm heading back to Infinity and Beyond, uh, where we are going to hopefully find more information about Demos and where the caravan went. Uh, also, I'm going to try and sell this genie bottle. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> and we can give this cool picture of Demos to Demetrios as a cell warming gift for while he's in jail i say he already has my sketch he already has my sketch your sketch is good but 
this is you know i genie made this one uh my smoky robinson def- my ego is deflated does that bring me back to earth <laughs> <laughs> uh so I, as you guys are like walking and talking about this after approximately 20 minutes nikitas you come crashing back down to the ground and you take 1d6 damage well, how did you get a chance to try and catch him i mean do you want to do you want to share that damage with him it was only it was only two damage no he can have it he's fine <laughs> <laughs> that's true love right there I could have kept. Oh, no, I don't want to catch him. He can have that damage. I guess I'll, uh, I'll at the very least, I'll help him up and dust him off. Cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bon. Don't, no, don't touch me there. <laughs> I mean, you suddenly realize I have a Ken doll body. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch him in his Ken doll area. Whoa. You were in a cup, normal atos? What's going on? Yes. yes cup. Yep. And then, and then I get cup of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Like a teacup, like not, not even like a like a jockstrap cup. It's it's like a teacup. That's his no no square. <laughs> Don't touch me there. Ooh, uh, that's I, my I guess no just no square. Walk back uh, t- together, and the entire time I'm just sitting talking about how foolish I feel for wasting that wish because I could have wished for anything and like ending world hunger or something, and I just wasted it on falling. Great Thank experience. You. I do want to say, I've never floated before. And it was a good experience. I do it again. Cool. What is uh, cool. both of your passive perception? Uh, right now, passive perception is 13. More than you can afford, homeboy. Ferrari. <laughs> uh, it's 14. Okay. So both of you, as Nikitas is expressing regret, um, both of you hear a, a deep chuckle coming from Bion's bag where the bottle is. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull the bottle back out because obviously that's what's <laughs> chuckling. And I'm going to tell Smokey Robinson if he's got something to say, maybe he can get us another wish and then he can say it and we won't be offended. How about and that, Smokey as Robinson? As you say that, a little bit of smoke comes out and you just get a middle finger. So Perfect. As, as an individual, uh, I did a wish. As an individual, Bion did a wish. But together as a union... We have not done we've done a wish, and together we are something new. Yeah, we could so like we hold fusion. hands and rub it together. By, yeah, um, you guys we, have to do this. Maybe to get dance. another wish. <laughs> Dan's already on it. <laughs> Will we find? Hey, I was doing a find out next time on Hampod Z. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out the directions, even though it shouldn't be. Yeah, Dan and I were trying to trying to hold hands one time on stream, and it did not go well. Does that work though? Uh, oh, I mean, I guess it depends on where I'm at on your screen, Dan, because you're like, you're to my left. <laughs> and this is when everyone tunes out. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're hey, muted. we did it. <laughs> I'm muted. Oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, you're Derek right now. <laughs> the delay. Yeah, I'm just sitting the there talking and I'm like, oh, so oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that delay is hard. Like, I'm I'm really glad that I don't have to watch it through there because it just oh hey, Derek's watching as we make fun of him. <laughs> hey Derek. Love you. All right. So wait, I have a new idea. Bye on. We may have exhausted all of our attempts to rub any more out of this bottle, even together, but there's still one of us who hasn't. If we can sneak this genie, bo- this genie bottle to Demetrios, he may be able to u- make better use of the wish. And I'll, I'll preface it before, don't ask for level 20. <laughs> In fact, I'm writing that on a note on the bottle. That sounds like a great idea, but that also feels like we would be aiding a criminal, which is against the law. It's a moral gray area because he has yet to be judged. So, yeah, we're guess- just, so he's not yet a criminal until deemed a criminal. He is just a person of interest whom we're trying to get more information for. Yeah, I, I guess this will probably be the first time that you guys have really had this uh, conflict in canon in game. Um 
of the moral justice versus the letter of the law of Astrea versus Dyke. I don't know what that last stuff was, but yes. There's the goddesses. goddesses you both God, they got in goddesses. You <laughs> <laughs> but the law is the law. And I, I don't am. know what the law is here because I don't read words. On but... justice. <laughs> <laughs> but he is definitely not guilty until proven otherwise. I thought you were going to say innocent. <laughs> he's not yeah, He's not guilty no. until he's proven innocent. <laughs> like, I assume we're still walking while we're talking about this. Oh, absolutely. So, so like, I'm like walking and like, you've seen how I talk whenever I'm walking. I'm, yeah. You know, so that's pretty much how Bion is, right? Like, talks with his hands all the time. So like, but he's been arrested and he's in jail. Also, therefore, you this murder. <laughs> yeah. And also he did. I mean, we. We saw a creature not from this plane come out and destroy that poor man. And we don't, are we even sure he's dead? Did anyone check the body? <laughs> the he, pieces of what's left of the body. He looked awful. I've, I mean, I've, he looked well, pretty there's dead. A lot of conjecture here, Bion. And until we have cold, hard facts of what happened, I, I refuse to believe that my friend is guilty. And as you say that, you hear from the bottle, he's definitely fucking guilty. And that guy's dead. Very dead. Well, you were also a gin who can't pick up on humor and jokes, so you're you're just. Oh no! I thought it was hilarious whenever you fell to the ground. That was great. You know what? I well, you know it what? Was this gin, funny. this gin, we're over with this gin. <laughs> I'm gonna cast silence, silence. On the yeah, he counterspells that. But yeah, I don't he, have silence. He's lucky. He's lucky. I can't cast <laughs> silence. Okay, I'll tell. I'll make a compromise with you, normal toss. I morally. Do not feel like I can lawfully help <laughs> with this situation and what you're suggesting. However, I look at it as you are obstructing the investigation because we have an opportunity to gain more truth and your in inability to be flexible with this moral uh, dilemma is impeding on our bloody to find the truth. So if you don't do this, your obstruction of justice said I might have to take you in. Hmm. Uh, I feel like that is a little bit more convincing to buy on <laughs> because now he's thinking he's like, Hmm, that does sound like obstruction of justice. I was and on I... video the whole time. No, you were, you were, you were, you were, you were dark. You were darked out. Yeah. You, you've kind of cut out a couple times here lately, but I wonder if it's to do with my space bar is cutting me off too. Could be like a, something new I just discovered. Uh, so I feel like Bion is persuaded to do something, but I don't feel like Bion would exactly can I, chill with just like rolling in there. Can, can I, I cast suggestion? I think what I would do, or Bion would do, I think... I would just be like, I'm going to leave the bottle here. <laughs> and if you happen to pick it up and take it to Demetrios while I'm talking to the other police officers, then that's what happens. Oh, I understand. Okay. And then I take the bottle out of my bag and I just like gingerly set it on the ground. And then like I turn away like very like purposefully to where I absolutely cannot <laughs> see what happens behind me. And hey, then by on by on you, 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 you dropped your lamp, your bottle. <laughs> 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 Kidding. I, I take it and I'm not Does that. I get the nervous farts. Was that what that sound was? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, take it and um, hide it in my bag. Okay. I just like and... nod my head and keep walking. Invisibility, does that uh you a creature you touch? Okay, so as a creature, I could do that, not not a target, okay, not a thing. So as we approach the 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 jail cell, I guess, uh or the holding station, yeah. police station, uh okay. I, I want to go in and, and as Bion's talking to the police officers, uh I would imagine, you know, just based on being here often that I know where the jail cell is, where the holding cells are. And I want to cast 
with no one looking, I want to cast invisibility, like maybe like go to the bathroom and like cast invisibility <laughs> and, and make an attempt to head over to, uh, yeah, to head over to the holding cell to find uh, Demetrios and then okay. cast Whisper when I see him from across the room. I feel like the people at the jail definitely know you frequently come there and like use their bathroom because you, you'd like that one for whatever reason. Ah, well then, do I know? Do I know that they know? Am I smart enough to know that? Roll an intelligence check. An emotional intelligence check. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, I would say that you probably know. Then I would have changed my face, so I would have looked like someone, le- you know, even more bland than normal. Normalitas already looks. Okay. Like I changed my hair color and like. My nose is crooked to the other way, or so, so, so something subtle enough to still be unnoticeable, but not recognizable. Okay, so uh, you Beautiful. stroll in, looking slightly different. All right, and uh, cast the bathroom, cast invisibility. Okay, yep. and then I just want to sneak out into the holding cell, and do I spot Demetrios? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's pretty hard to miss. He's kind of a large dude even in his normal form how far away I, i'm gonna i'm gonna whisper a message to him okay so i uh, cast message you definitely have to roll a oh you cast whisper yeah so i, I cast whisper i'm like hey demetrius i remember your name <laughs> we think there's more going on with your brother we may have a lead but i have a magic bottle with a gin inside who can grant you one wish it might be your ticket to finding the truth i'm going uh well one whisper back that you acknowledge this and i will casually drop it into your hand by the cell okay um what are the components for whisper because it's not loading fast enough on my phone a short piece of copper wire. Uh, sorry, you both were talking at the same time. A short piece of copper wire. Does it have a verbal component at all? Oh yeah, verbal somatic and material. Okay. Um, roll a stealth check as you do this. I'll say with advantage because you're already invisible. Is it stealth? Yep. With God, advantage. Thank God for advantage. So <laughs> I went from a six to an 18. Okay. So uh, as you do this, um, you pass this bottle off. And uh, he says, thank you. Oh, this is normal test, by the way. Uh, yeah, I, I figured. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave now. Whatever you wish for, make it good. Because I won't hear it. Okay. And then I leave, and now it's a mystery what he wishes for. And he's, where he keeps this bottle for who knows how long. He's totally going to wish to be level 20. And <laughs> Oh, I, I wrote that on the bottle. I wrote, do not wish to be level 20. Yeah, there's a, there's a sticky note, or whatever the ancient Greek equivalent of a sticky note is. Stickiest Probably notes. like a piece of gum and just some paper. For sure. <laughs> uh, it's spit, actually. Yeah. It's just like baklava glue. Yeah, actually, Bayon spit some baklava on there for you. I spit mad bars like baklava. <laughs> so without Derek here, I think we just managed to avoid the role play by yeah, leaving yeah. before he answers anything. And it's a mystery what he asked for. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll figure that out at some point. Next time, so, on. <laughs> <laughs> How many times can we make that joke in our entire lifetime? <laughs> Probably it gets old. It gets old every time, actually. But like, I ever just like on our deathbeds, like, will we live to see tomorrow? (laughs) Find out next time on. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I'm pretty sure we have made that joke in like the majority of episodes, like main pod, bad boys. Just, just yeah, it's a fun joke. It's funny, and everybody gets it. And if they don't get it, then they are uncultured swine. It's that simple. (laughs) They can fuck off, as the gin says. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. 
Yeah. Also, as as you're leaving, Nick Toss, you see just like a little trail of smoke again, and just like the middle finger one more time. I take comfort in knowing that he's still in there. <laughs> so do I care, little buddy? Do I see Nikitas like? I mean, obviously he's invisible, so I don't like see him. Right. But like, am I like? Actually, you know what? Never mind. Forget I forget I said anything. This happens so quickly that as he's talking about all of his bootylicious adventures to the other cops uh, and giving them all gold, saying he has more than he can spare, uh, I'm going to uh, just go to the bathroom, reappear, and come back as Nikitas. I say, whoo, don't go in there. <laughs> Ooh, Nikitas. Yes. Very. Wow. Mm. Yes. It was a long journey. Yes. 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 Well, fellow officers of the law who would never do anything that might possibly be outside of the written law as we know it, I believe we are off now. Yes. And they're, they're just like, yep, that, that is the oath. Don't do anything outside of the written law as we know it. <laughs> this space bar thing must be new because like we're like we're yeah it, it didn't have dropping like crazy. Before. Yeah, we're yeah. just both just... <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> he did it. How, how do you do that? It's the space magic. Bar. Yeah, it's the space bar, man. See, look, ah, ah, ah. I, I figured it out. Uh, the best part if, is, I if don't you really double know. if you double tap the space bar, it will hide you and unhide you. If you just hold it in, it'll temporarily unmute you. Huh? Mine's not even a double tap. If I just tap it without holding it to talk, it it turns my camera off. I don't even have to double How tap. Bizarre. That's true. It's a tap. If you tap it, <laughs> it will remove your video. It doesn't do that for me. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Well, you must suck then. I don't know. <laughs> or I guess I guess that's what happens when you pay for Zoom. <laughs> oh yeah, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, of those, one of those buy-on types. Yeah, yeah with much. all that all that gold that you <laughs> don't know what to do with. So you right. just, you know. I I too have way too much gold. Not really. Well, I, I don't have enough gold, so. <laughs> I don't think I own any gold, actually. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys making your way back to the uh, like the main office? Did Normalitas remember to give Demetrios the cool writing or drawing that moves? Uh, can I roll? He did not. Uh, can ah, I roll... son of a. Wait, 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 can I roll like um, a check to see if I would have remembered that? Uh, did I remember that check? Yeah. We're going to go with history, short-term history, which is also known as memory. <laughs> Five. Totally forgot. Actually, yeah, what? yeah I, I kind of like take it. I, I reach around in my pocket and realize it's still there. I'm like. <laughs> <sighs> Better ditch this evidence. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ditch it because I still think it is evidence that that's of great import because we wasted, I... a, we wasted a gin wish on that. So it's got to be worth something. <laughs> we wasted we? You wasted a gin wish on floating in the air. So. That was highly valuable. We, I saw, I was an elevated person for a while. I gained new. You got a whole new perspective on life. I am still metagaming right now. What? Uh, what's the term I'm thinking of here? Suspicious that this is somehow a magical demos, and we need to get him out of the paper. <laughs> yeah, like this is like card captors or Yu-Gi-Oh or something like that. And it's was trapped in the scroll. Yeah, I don't know. What it, I don't Can I make know an arcana check on the paper and be like, is this actually Demos? Yeah, you can make an arcana check. I'm good at that. 12. Oh, yeah, no, with a 12, you do not know. You're like, oh, this is definitely enchanted. So I don't even pick up any magic on it? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you definitely know that it's enchanted, but you kind of already knew that from the, yeah, fact, from that the fact that it was moving. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so. So, yeah, I mean, are you guys making your way back to uh, BCIP headquarters? Probably. Is that where we just were? Oh, you guys were at the jail. I mean, headquarters. Uh, they're not connected. Like, they're not the same. I thought they were the same. It's time. like three doors down. Yeah, I make that mistake all the time. Sometimes I just end up in jail because I thought I was going to the office. You know? <laughs> when, when you go to the BCIP, that's where everybody does their desk pops. 100 <laughs> percent. that's like day one you got to start that all right so you all make your way back to headquarters um yeah i saw the the light move threw me off scared me yeah um 
So, is there anyone in particular you're wanting to talk to at uh, BCIP? Uh, maybe Colonel Sanders. I don't know who that who, who that could be. Did do you remember the character name? Uh <laughs> oh man, um, it's not Piedmon. Telemon. No. Is Telemon still the uh, guy in charge? Yeah, it's Telemon. Telemon, yes, that's. <laughs> yep, I knew that. Wizard. Mon. I knew that. Angry right. Bird Man. So as as you walk in through the front door of the uh, Bureau of Civil Investigation and Protection, immediately you are greeted by. First of all, the, the secretary, who is a, a small, um, mousy man. And by mousy man, like he is a, a mouse person. Um, I was picturing a shrew before you said anything. Yeah, same. Yeah, I mean, basically like a very large shrew, but a little bit more human-like. And uh, he just says, oh, uh, but welcome back. Uh, Talon's looking for you. Perfect. Convenient. We're looking for him as well. Oh! <laughs> Jinx, <laughs> you owe me a coke. Danny says cute. I'm such a child, man. Because <laughs> I was trying to make the joke too, and I was trying to figure out how to make it Greek, and all I could think was coconus, and I was like, that doesn't sound. <laughs> pinch, pinch, coconus. You owe me a coconus. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds like cocaine. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, yes. so you start to make your way to Telemann's office and he says ah well it's good to see you boys how goes the case it goes well sir he says now now son you know I don't appreciate when you make fun of my accent I'm not making fun of your accent sir I'm just loghorn foghorn here loghorn foghorn <laughs> foghorn IP you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta dodge that line ugh uh, Loghorn Foghorn here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. With infinity and fried chicken. And let me tell you, boys. Oh, <laughs> uh, you say that now. That's our next uh next merch. Right there. Infinity and fried chicken. With foghorn yeah. loghorn. <laughs> loghorn. <laughs> foghorn foghorn. We don't even know words anymore. They're all gone. <laughs> uh yes. here. My boy Demetrios is, is innocent, I tell you. So Telemon says, Now, son, as I was saying, the two things I always tell you are uh, don't make fun of my accent. I don't appreciate it. And uh, I don't remember what the other one was because you you kind of have that effect on me. Nikitas, you, uh, oh, my, uh, <laughs> you, you bring the chaos. You bring the chaos every time. And uh, I, appreci- I appreciate it about you, but, uh, but it makes it damn hard, son. It makes it very difficult to get my job done sometimes. Anyway, I'm sorry, you're here, sir. I'm sorry, son. You got you got to understand <laughs> Southern accent. <laughs> and he says, "Now, please give me your report." Hmm. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of how Nikitas would. Uh... <laughs> would, would approach this to his boss and he just like immediately blank faces and telemon <laughs> says that's that you know actually i got the the report from ia the whispers already came by forget it i i i, I have your report i have i have this this is the boy who went missing and i give him the picture of the stick figure <laughs> he says ah yes your, your work has improved Yes, I yes. elbow, I elbow Nikitas. Like, what about the other picture? I whisper back. I don't know if we should let that card out yet. Yeah, that's mm. your trap card. You got to keep it mm. face down. That's it's our trump card. <laughs> so, uh, as he's you know saying this and saying that you know what he already has is a good enough report, he says, "Now, boys, I I do have a new assignment for you. We have." some some news on your case a new development if you will we are sending you in to go undercover if you will accept this mission never turn anything down sir 
He says that that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't turned anything down today yet, sir. That is also not true. <laughs> you know what, sir? I'm just going to say I will accept this one this time. Okay. Um, so he says, now, Nikitas. I'll leave my partner with me, though. Your, your partner, Bion, is right here. No, Demetrios. Sorry, wasn't clear. Oh, uh, I, I don't know if you remember, but two sessions ago, Nikitas, <laughs> we assigned you to a new partner. But that was only t- temporary. Well, you see, Demetrios going and committing a murder. Allegedly. Kind of made that more Allegedly. Funny. Yeah, yes, allegedly. Committing that murder that you and your partner witnessed. (laughs) Allegedly. It wasn't him. Uh, He says, now, I I know that you've never gone undercover before, but I I do believe in you. I've never gone undercover. Oh, yeah, I'm going to change. I change my face every time. (laughs) I come back into the station as a new new recruit. But okay. But he's right. 100%. He 100% is aware of that. Like, he doesn't <laughs> consider that undercover because every single time he's just like, oh, yep, it's Nikitas again. So he knows I'm like the worst person for this mission. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, that's Nikitas as an orc. That's Nikitas as a frog. That's Nikitas as Bion. <laughs> I imagine that he's like a ditto. <laughs> <laughs> and he just got the, the, the goofy two blank blank eyes and line the and line <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. So he says, now, Nikitas, if I remember correctly, you went to uh, you went to magic school, correct? I did. That's where I learned all my magics. He says, and uh, I know you are not from Ophinian originally, so I don't think there will be any kind of conflict of interest for you to attend the Pandaros School of Magic here in the city. None at all. I instantly transform myself into into wizard robes. (laughs) He says, ah, it is good to see you out of those barbarian pants. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely just a cloak and uh, I already have a wand. Uh, No, it's actually a staff of bird call I have, but I imagine it's more like a rod, so it's small. And (laughs) I have a little scar on my face. He says, ah, yes. In the shape of a heart. (laughs) <laughs> normal, normal Atas, the boy who lived, <laughs> come to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's beautiful. That's going on TikTok. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> that, that TikTok uh, was amazing. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, uh, oh, go ahead. I need a new name. He uh, says, I am Skoblaitas. <laughs> Harry Potter Atos. Potter Atos. Not like Wizard Atos or you know. No, no, no. We're no. gonna go Ron Atos. No. Mm, yeah. Hermione Dumbled- Atos. Double double door atos. <laughs> JK Rowling's lawyers are licking their chops right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we are Serious already atos. getting sued. <laughs> uh we're we're just gonna go at normal atos still, I guess. If it's it, it, it is pretty normal, pretty average. Definitely sounds oh, like a wizard name. No, he's no, his new name is Abnormal Atas. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he's not normal anymore. He's a wizard. True. So he says, now, as you are probably aware, most of these students are a bit younger than you and your partner. So I need you to fit in with the youth culture. Uh, I assume that will not be an issue. What's up, fellow children? <laughs> <laughs> well, I look like and a I, child now. I just instantly make myself look look younger. Dan, when I sent you that message about doing uh, the 21 Jump Street, immediately I was like, I know that they're going to make that joke at some point. <laughs> I mean, I'm never going to not make that joke if you tell me that I have to have something that involves trying to fit in with kids. I am definitely the Steve Bashimi character. Like, hello. Uh, with your backwards hat and skateboard in ancient Greece. Yeah, and I can't remember what the shirt says. It says like band, rock <laughs> yeah. band or something like that. 
But isn't it like an ACDC knockoff? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, since I was muted. <laughs> Derek. If you will. You were Derek. Yeah. All right. So he says, now, once you get to the school, I, I do need you to pretend like you are new transfer students here. And we'll have two faculty members who are also undercover, but they can't just come right out and say who they are. You'll have to make sure not to, uh, cause a scene or give yourselves away in any kind of way. Do they know who we are? Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, we know who they are. Well, I, I have faith in you. You boys, well, part of your boys seem like you. Uh, maybe not gonna. Well, you know, you, you guys have got this. I, I believe in you boys now. Don't disappoint me. Sounds awful suspicious. What are we looking for here, Captain? He says, uh, it's actually Lieutenant. Sergeant. He just, like, shakes his head and looks away for for a very long beat. (laughs) Foghorn, Loghorn. And he just continues. Loghorn, Foghorn. The the beat grows longer every time, and he just, like, silently waits for the, the shenanigans to end. And then he says... Now, there have been rumors that young Demos may have been taken to this school and his memory wiped. Where so he the, probably where probably the heck did you get that who, information? You're just you're sitting on that this whole time, sir. Well, it uh, it actually just came in this morning after just, you all left. And I I had no way of reaching you. Just sitting on the information. Like I a- floated twenty feet in the air, and this guy. Had the information we needed all along. I wonder, I wonder, Lieutenant. I wonder, and I, I look at normal toss as I'm saying this. I, I wonder, do you think he could have been turned into a drawing? Are you asking Telemon this? Or are you asking? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking Telemon, but I'm being very suspicious, like side eyeing, like right. normal toss. Very obviously. <laughs> My pocket's itching. Uh, he says, well, I, I suppose he, he could have been drawn at some point. Not drawn, Lieutenant, but magically turned into a magical drawing. I mean, I'm sure you are aware that we, we do have the moving pictures here, the portable scroll moving pictures. I was not aware. And I sit back in my chair. So Man, that, that that was ice cold, like an ice cube. <laughs> so he says, "Now, boys, I get that reference." Good. I was trying to fit it in somewhere. I wasted it. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Now, boys, in order to help with your mission, I have some supplies, some school supplies, if you will, and they will be with my secretary." Is uh, what was her name? Uh, what, what's your dog's name? My dog, Arlie. Yeah, is, is that your assistant, Arlie? That you're referring to, sir? He says, Oh, well, yes, of course. I, I only have the one secretary. She licks the air and scratches her foot. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Arlie is a, a he, you know, a young mousy boy out there. Right. I, I, I'm sorry for <laughs> making assumptions. Yes, we will get the school supplies from Arlie. The mousy boy <laughs> who licks the air and scratches his scratches his, his paw. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. Well, Loghorn Foghorn. Uh, I believe. <laughs> uh, we'll grab the school supplies. We'll go to the school and we'll find the lawbreakers. You have. Yeah. You have he my says, word. No, no, no. Young Bion. You're looking. I'm, for, I'm already going out the door. I'm it. already gone. And he's just like, "Well, we'll see how this goes." Next that's time on this session, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Before we do, I do walk out and I do, of course, go see Arlie, the 
the, the shrew and, and collect our materials and clothes and agenda oh, in school and our, and our school agenda and all that stuff. Yeah. And, and, and directions. Absolutely. I have no idea where the school is at. Yeah. We need to figure out where that is next. Yeah. So it has like a map in your school supplies. It is very much drawn like a child's map. Like very simple. Oh, so, so I comprehend like, this very, very well. Yeah, it's like you are here, a couple of crayon drawings on the way, like some landmarks, and then school. Do they have a lunch menu? I know some of these words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they do have the lunch menu for the week, yes. Perfect. How much baklava is on there? <laughs> None, actually. Oh, what? <laughs> how, how much of that pizza, the, the microwave pizza? The, the cardboard pizza, mm-hmm. yeah. Is that, is that so, on the menu? Is that available every day? I'm every, only going to the school. Yeah. That's available every day. That's actually all that they serve all day, every day. Oh, this is going to be... This is way better than the <laughs> wizarding school I went to. Yeah, all you had bought was baklava the whole where'd time. You, it was terrible. Where, where'd you go to? Woghorts? <laughs> <laughs> now Wog-horn. we're really getting sued by J.K. Rowling. <laughs> that is what it is. All right. And on that note, yeah, that's where we're going to end the session. I went to hamstring so, uh, in Germany hamstring like trying to make fun of like the derm string no yeah. no I, I get it i get it. The I just, it took me it took, pod it, string yeah. hamstring <laughs> it took I, me a second I'm, I was, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna sign off we're done we're done <laughs> <laughs> no it was good i was just thinking i was like, I was like was it called hamstring like i was like thinking to myself i, and I, I was, had that same i was like hold on this is very close <laughs> like it's been a minute and then i was like no it definitely oh wasn't guys this is our this is our mandela effect for this it was, yeah, it was never dermstring or dermstring. It was always hamstring the whole time. Uh, the amazing. whole time. The inspiration for ha- ham hamstring of the gods. <laughs> that is the name of this podcast. All right. Thanks for everybody who has uh, joined us this evening or who will be watching this on the replay. And uh, we will see you guys soon for the next episode of Bad Boys of New Alexandria from Hammer the Gods. Hey. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Tim. Bye. Bye.